Howdy folks, Scrobo here with a farm sim tutorial. I've had some people ask me about, uh, on my series, how I moved the chickens around on the farm so they were only in a certain area. So today we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do that on Snetterton's farm. I've got that extracted here to my desktop. What you're going to do is open up the i3D in the Giants editor. So go to the Maps folder and just open that right up. It may take a little bit to load if it's the first time. I had this open earlier, so it shouldn't take too long. And it's also on an SSD. So on Snedertons, if we zoom in here, I'll get my speed up. Uh, there's various nav meshes. That's the blue area that you see. Uh, so we got like the sheep are here. This is the chicken nav mesh. And I happen to know that the nav mesh is under here on this particular map. It could be anywhere, depending on what map you have open. Uh, but most people copy it out of a game map. So we're going to need that particular item right there later on. But for now, um, let's say we want to move the chicken somewhere else. And we want to have them walk somewhere else. So this is our little house. So let's move the house down there. So we're going to grab this parent object. We're going to go to world mode. So we're not just doing a local transform change. And we'll move this guy down here somewhere. Um, the other way to do this is you can do, um, what's it called? Interactive placement. Control B and just click somewhere and it'll plop it down. If we go back into local mode, we'll give it a local rotation like like so. Then let's say we want one feeder, we'll plop a feeder over there. And we'll grab this little bowl here. I'm just uh, oops. I'm doing uh, control B. But I did it too fast. Control B and then left click where you want it to go. Now the other thing I want to move is the egg basket. So if we come over here, click somewhere on this, we want to go all the way up to the parent object so we get not only the model here of the box, but also the egg slots where the eggs will spawn. So again, we'll do Control B, left click, Gets it over here. Let's give it a local rotation. Oops. If you do something wrong, just control Z. And we'll just kind of stick it right up there. If you don't understand this, don't worry too much about it. All right, so now we have what we want moved over there. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. I'm just going to click on them and push delete. There's going to be extras that we're not going to need. So that's everything cleaned up. Now what we want to do is recreate the navigation mesh so the game knows where to spawn the chicken. So we want to make a new navigation mesh here in this area. So to do that, we're going to use the info layer tool, terrain info layer paint mode. It's a little eye. And I'm going to make my brush a little bigger because we're going to do some deleting. So let me pull out here so I can see all of the existing chicken mesh. Okay. So when this mode is enabled, you come down here to your info layer. You want to make sure this is on info layer. And these info channels are the different animals. Um, in your game folder, there's a modding handbook in the SDK folder. So channel zero is cows, channel one is sheep, channel two is chickens. And I assume channel three is pigs. We know it's not listed here, but I don't know for sure. I haven't looked into that. But channel two is chickens. So we want to uncheck and we check channel two. 
And now you'll see we have some white here. So we want to use right mouse button because that's set to subtract. And we're going to just get rid of all that white because that tells it where to generate the navigation mesh. So we'll just make sure that's all gone like so. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller. I'm going to get down here close. And we're going to make a new area. So basically you just paint in the white where you want the chickens to wander. So we're just going to make a little area right around here for the chickens to go in. And you could get fence models, stuff like that. Put up, but I'm just going to make a, a new area here. Okay, so we got that. We come out of terrain mode. Now, remember I showed you where the nav mesh was? We're going to want to go up and find that nav mesh. Can't talk today. Great tutorial. Can't talk. So you want to click on that so it's selected, the chicken nav mesh, or if you're doing cows, cows. And we're going to go to create navigation mesh. On this screen, um, the document talks a little bit about what you can change here and there, but we don't need to change too much. It's pretty much set up uh, okay for chickens. But the two things we do need to change is the shape build mask. So this tells it what we're building for. So we're going to clear it and we're going to do this to channel two for chickens. And then also on the culling info layer channels, we're going to do the same thing. Clear everything, pick two for chickens. Now if you know what you're doing, you can just type four in there. And then we're going to click recreate. Don't click create. Click recreate. So think about it for a minute and bam, we have a new nav mesh. Now this will work, but your chickens will be walking through the coop and weird stuff like that. So there's one more step you can do. Let's find the parent of the chicken wagon, which is happens to be what we're on. So any shape you can tell it to uh, basically not put a nav mesh there. So you select your object, go to the shape tab, build nav mesh mask. Um, you can do the same kind of thing here, clear, hit channel two for chickens, or you can just type four in there since we know it's four. So we're going to do that. Um, I don't know that it matters too much on these smaller objects, but let's do it anyway. Uh, in the case of the egg box, we want just the box here. We don't want the whole thing because that includes other stuff. We want just the uh, geometry of the egg box itself. So come over here to shape. We're going to stick a four in there. Four is the decimal representation of the bit mask, basically. And we'll do that on these small guys here, too. I don't know that it matters for the small ones. I think they're going to be small enough that it doesn't matter. So now if we go select our nav mesh again, create navigation mesh, everything should still be the same. Then we click recreate. Now it knows to like cut out around that. So you can see it's, it's left a hole here around this. These things are too small. It doesn't really matter. And uh, you can play with those various settings in the uh, create nav mesh menu if you want to. Radius and stuff like that. It determines how it creates it. You can read up more about that in the manual. But that's the basics of how you recreate a nav mesh for your animals. This looks like gaps, but it's I think it's because of the slope or else it's underground. It could be the slope. So the last thing you would want to do is save. Uh, make sure you're not editing one of the stock maps. You never want to save those. If you're working on a copy or a mod map, just click save. Go into your game. Now the chickens will just spawn here in this nav mesh area. And they're not wandering all over your house. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful. Catch you later.